Hey guys, happy Friday. Kevin Cage back with another cryptocurrency update. Welcome to the channel. Like and subscribe if you're serious about the digital asset space and let's get right into it today. So I enjoyed a nice two days off, guys. Hope you guys are ready for the weekend. Um, let's get back into making some videos. So I want to kick things off sharing Coin Paprika here. I just noticed this new integration. So buy cryptocurrency directly from Coin Paprika by card or Apple Pay. So of course you, you know, can pay via USD, GBP, or the Euro. Of course, the options right here. You can put in the amount of whether it's Ethereum, EOS, XRP, etc., ADA, Atom. Um, pretty cool to see the options. Of course, this is alphabetically. So, of course, we have XRP towards the bottom and then buy. And, of course, you can imagine a premium similar to trying to find, you know, the scarce supply of physical silver now, um, whatever, you know, bullion, bullion you decide to use or order from. Good luck because even though silver, you know, paper derivative wise, is maybe 14 13 bucks per ounce if you wanted physical silver it's anywhere from you know 23 to 25 dollars per ounce it's my belief silver will easily easily double you know again um just like in 08 where we you know approach 50 dollars so be ready i'm just stacking you know physical silver i'm not telling you what to do but and then also digital assets xrp being one of the primary holdings a lot of people in this channel get so frustrated that i talk about xrp all the time and that's simply because they have the most integrations the most most proof of concepts the biggest partnerships the biggest upside and the biggest real use case today liquidity itself and just you know reducing friction in payments i think that there's gonna be a lot of other projects some of these that i keep an eye on at least i'm not holding all of them but some of them i absolutely do and I think a lot of these that I've favorited have a good chance of success. Um, now, you know, for Bitcoin, Bitcoin Cash, I typically just like to keep an eye on them. Um, I'm not the biggest Bitcoin, you know, believer by any means, but I do think it's leading the market for at least, you know, now in time. All right. So let's get into the information today. So right here, Dilip Rao, again, I believe he's a gentleman retired in Australia now, and he was the famous guy that said, hashtag cool your jets, but the global head infrastructure innovation at Ripple. So this quote, and I wanted to share this, this is shared by status or status. So right here. In this last quarter, the bulk of XRP sales were institutional investors. As this transitions, aw transitions away from retail to institutions, we'll start to use it for wholesale financial usage. That's when the turning point will be. And this was at the Global Islamic Economic Summit in 2018. Um, I believe that people have shared video clips of this as well. Just wanted to share that. Keep in mind, you know, some people believe that XLM lumens will be more catered towards retail usage, but XRP is for institutions only. They do not care. You know, this this ecosystem, Ripple does not care or bother and even has any obligations to share what they're working on. It's my belief that when prices move, they will move very, very quickly. And I think that we can actually see some extreme, extreme final shakeouts, like to the point where the markets all, all over the globe, whether it's crypto, metal, stocks, they want people it to go so low that people that have been holding for two or three years question every decision they've ever made and go oh maybe this was just a bubble maybe you know these currencies will not be used to you know solve problems it's going to make everybody question everything and at that point that's when i believe things will turn around but it has to hit close to zero before it's game time that's just my personal belief for one way i could see it playing out just wanted to share that because I don't think that the road is going to be smooth by any means, and it hasn't been at all. I know some people that bought at one dollar. I know some people that got in, you know, at half a penny back early 2017 and even before that. So really depends. But at the same time, guys, with something that has tremendous upside, you are here early. I'll be scooping up XRP, anything below, you know, five dollars, all time high. Doesn't matter. I personally just see tremendous upside in a deflationary asset that will be used to scale where we have a ripple employees say three digits and then that's not even incorporating a multiplier effect so i am quite bullish but i'm personally waiting of course for regulations i'm waiting for actual institutional adoption and i'm waiting to see you know where this global market goes because we are in some very sensitive times um it's just very very eerie um, I'm not doubting my XRP investment by any means or crypto. This is validating it further, just like I'll finish off the video explaining that. But um, yeah, just wanted to rant a little bit. All right. So right here, Money 2020. This is Chris Lark Larson, executive chairman of Ripple. Um, again, without him, none of this would have been possible. And this was at the Money 2020 event. And I just want to share this clip. This is from 2018. But just listen up, just validating the use case, the trillions of dollars of dormant capital. And I'm just replaying this clip for any newcomers as well is 10 years out on the financial crisis, we still don't have the infrastructure perhaps to prevent the next one. 
And I think this is where digital assets can really help because an efficient digital asset uh, can really solve um, some of the key problems in global liquidity. You know, the world's got trillions and trillions of dollars tied up in liquidity. And now this value of, you know, trillions of dollars that's dormant, it's anywhere from I've seen, you know, 5 trillion, I've seen 9.6 trillion, as high as 23 to 27 trillion as well. Um, this figure is changing constantly. I want to know where they are getting their metrics from as well with that. Just to get around how clunky the movement of value is around the world, if with a really efficient digital asset, something like XR XRP, again, that's what we believe will be the, the, the most efficient. And he has said that he wants it to be as liquid as a G10 currency, all right? When you have liquidity and you are sending high value, that's why people believe that XRP will moon even Ripple employees. Um, you can now reduce trillions and trillions of capital from being tied up. So you can make those transfers and even if they send other digital assets on the XRP ledger, it still requires XRP for fuel on the network itself. So it has inborn utility. It is not one of those, you know, blockchains or, you know, DLT systems that doesn't require the actual token to appreciate in value. Quite the opposite. It is deflationary in nature. But what we are waiting for is wide scale adoption and truly ramping up this usage, getting away hopefully from the SWIFT network and capturing some of that market share. Um, you know, even with the Logos acquisition going into the DeFi and even talking about the derivatives market, there is so, so much upside. My only fear, my only fear is that we are too early. There's instantly as a bank or as a payment provider, as an enterprise without having to have money. And also it's very interesting. Remember Ripple's swell event. They said 2020 will be the year of the digital asset. They talked about, you know, even before this, before this market crash, which is very ominous to me, they said, well, to truly show if uh, you know an asset is mature enough for you know usage and utility. I forgot if it was Monica Long or who was sharing it, but I've shared the clip in one of my recent videos. But she said that the asset would have to prove that it can crash entirely and then come back up to where it formerly was with the same amount of liquidity, developing a tighter spread, you know, the you know, the bid, the buy and the asking prices, etc. And that is exactly what XRP is doing. I mean, it went from 11 cents. It's, it keeps bouncing back because of the utility. And I know you guys are seeing all the on-demand liquidity ODL corridors that are ramping up as well. It's very, very exciting. Um, but I'm still nervous globally with this pandemic, with the market, um, with a lot of things. I, I genuinely am concerned with a lot of the infrastructure for everyday people as well, where in the United States, they're bailing out trillions for the corporations that get them, you know, paid within days or within a week or two. And these stimulus checks for everyday people and the hardworking class, eh, it's not really prioritized. It, you know, it does, it does upset me. It gets me a little frustrated, I guess, but I don't, I don't want to rant about this. This isn't going to be a, a political or, you know, channel like that. I just wanted to share the cryptocurrency and this is validating the use cases. All right. They prepositioned all over the world. So that's. All right, so pre-positioned all over the world, I wanna go through right here. So for example, XRP in the center, rather than them holding, you know, 10 million yen, 10 million US dollars, 10 million British pound, 10 million yuan, um, 10 million Brazilian real, euros, um, Swiss franc, Mexican peso, anything. They can just hold a basket of XRP. So instead of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, so let's say that's 10 million each, instead of holding 80 million total, they could just, you know, reduce that by a factor of eight and just have, you know, 10 million XRP sitting here that can ask act as that basket of currency. And rather than this money being trapped every time it's paid two to six days, if not even more, or getting lost entirely, because we know the percentages and the error rates and going through eight intermediaries and clunky messaging systems, you can just have XRP settle in two seconds, three to five seconds. And then sometimes, you know, if you want to include the software, say, you know, Two to three minutes it doesn't matter because then they can just buy it back or that flywheel effect that's been discussed numerous times this is why i'm quite bullish this can all interoperate between everything on a distributed system all right next up so again thanks for sharing this this is bash crypto right here planet xrp just sharing this um pretty cool so again Mnuchin, Trump's right-hand man, Secretary of Treasury, will be at today's White House briefing per source. SBA loans will be available starting tomorrow. Now, this is an XRP-related, but it is blockchain-related. As we go in this document, um, you can see it's dated, you know, 29th, 2020. And just to see right here, the national organizations that are here as well, we can see Blockchain Association. 
validating the use cases, validating, you know, ledger technology as well. Now, along with this, we can see other groups of courses, you know, medical tech, we can see, you know, entrepreneurship, medical devices, things of that nature. Um, you know, in energy sources. So I totally get it. But DLT is the future. Whether they use a cryptocurrency or not, when it's sending value, typically you need some type of, you know, token. Now, there are ways to make blockchains without, you know, tokens entirely and different ledger systems to track medical records and property and ID and things of that nature, which I totally get. But for the payments case, I'm just saying that XRP is the only answer I've personally seen that is a true contender. Um, you know, even just being connected with Finastra, they have 9,000, um, you know, partners right there. That's just a partner of a partner. So Ripple, yeah, 300 or whether 450 partners with Finastra, that is 9,000 partners right there. And Finastra is already integrated with the top 48 of the 50 banks in the world, guys. The top 50 banks, they have 48 of them. So you can understand why I like to entertain or even see possible per other sources the idea of a flip of the switch moment. All right. People say, oh, well, if it's plugged into the Swift GPI, where's the liquidity coming from? Swift GPI. All of their clients provide the necessary liquidity as well. Now, what's going to happen is this is going to foster an ecosystem of higher liquidity, higher value transfer, and within the order books, then your whole Shane Ellis theory, which is not even a theory, it just is how order books function, would occur. This is why I'm bullish. I believe a lot of people are going to sell at you know three to five dollars. Um, or one dollar, ten dollars, whatever. Do what is best for you completely. But what I'm saying is, me personally, wherever I take profit, um, I don't like to share my plan, but I want to hold a good chunk for life because you do not know how high this baby could really go. All right. And to finish off, guys, the same narrative over and over again. One of the banks that is classified as too big to fail, and it's systemically valuable for the global economy, of course. One we talk about a lot is HSBC, but another one we talk about is Deutsche Bank. Pay attention to this, and this was shared to me by Jay Spark, so thank you, sir. So right here, the COVID-19 pandemic is accelerating the rise of central bank digital currency, CBDCs, as many governments see the handling of cash as a potential risk factor to, to, you know, due to infection, this type of narrative. This will likely add to calls to move towards digital cash, electronic money, according to our DB research colleague, Marion Labor. Again, the narrative is here. It, every bank has been saying this. There is a push to go digital. Um, I'm not sure if it'll ever be a 100% digital, but anything is possible at this point. But notice, 2020, the year of the digital asset. Brad Garlinghouse, CEO of Ripple, has said 2020 will be the year when they custody digital assets. Bitcoin, Ethereum, XRP will be held by banks and financial institutions as an investment vehicle as well. Do not be surprised when financial advisors come back to you selling a type of index fund or when you can actually buy, say, Ethereum from the banks and they just custody it and they sell it to you at a premium. Things of that nature. We've had negative interest rates. All the predictions are coming true. Um, personally, I think it's even happening faster than I predicted. I was trying to be conservative with my view and estimates of everything for maybe 2025, but the way things are heating up, um, I know there's a lot of bad, but I hope that there's a lot of good that comes out of this scenario. So, in situation. So, with that, guys, I appreciate it as always. Remember, links in the description. Shout out to Jamie XRP and all other top channel members. I appreciate you guys. Thank you for all that hit the like button. And until next time.